there's nothing quite like an escape to the movies. They make us laugh, fall in love, or take us on adventures. Everything about the movies is magic. But it wasn't until some time in the past 30 years or so that collectors began to realize that they could actually own pieces of their favorite films. This is where all our money goes. <laughs> Whether it's a prop held by Harrison Ford that's pivotal to an adventurous scene, or a classic MacGuffin we never truly understand. We have it. Yeah, we have it. Owning props has become a very big business in the collecting world. Prices have gone up really high in the past couple of years. $92,500. Almost as big as traditional art itself, selling nostalgia and trafficking in magic. They're revisiting a moment in time that they had, perhaps when they went to the cinema and watched Superman when they were young kids. What is it that makes prop collectors so passionate about owning a movie studio's garbage? I took the original glove. I just threw it in my bag, took it. That is what I intend to find out. This is a real yes, original yes, gremlin? Yes, yes. Oh, no way. Everything that I love, it's all in one thing. That one is, you can see also in the shoulder tubes, the, the shininess on it, that's actually dried slime. I think in general film is art, and this is a piece of film, so yeah. Yeah, this is the size of a car. 